Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup try on video. I've just been doing a bunch of different hauls and then I realized why don't I try all of the new things that I bought here on camera so I thought that would be a fun idea so that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today I'm so very excited for this video because I love playing with makeup I love trying new products and now I get to do it with you guys also I would really really love it if you guys would subscribe ring the bell like and comment on this video and of course to join my giveaway I do giveaways every single month so I hope you guys can join all of my giveaways you know it actually took me three takes to do this intro and I'm so happy with this one so we're just gonna start with this makeup try on video today I'm not going to be doing a full face of new makeup because this is all the new makeup that I currently have right now in my place I actually have a lot of new makeup I just cannot find it right now so this is what I will just be working with today. So I have my basic care sponge. I have the Body Shop Primer. There is Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara and the Floor Mar Extreme Matte Lipstick. This is the Master Chrome by Maybelline. Ooh, this one. I'm so excited for this. This is the Color Switch by Beauty Sensations. And this one I actually did not buy this. It was a gift. So I'm excited to dig in. This is, this is the Max Factor X eyeshadow palette contouring eyeshadow palette in golden nude so so that's why the packaging looks like this so that's basically all the new products I'm gonna be trying out today so yeah let's get started first up I'm gonna be cleansing my face I am using the Bebe soup baby skin wipes now this one I actually really love it I've been using it every single day to cleanse my face remove my makeup it's a really nice thing to use for the face and since I have sensitive skin, most things make me really red, but this one does not as I was actually already red before I put this on. So yeah, I, I just like cleansing with this wipe and I like keeping it here just in case, you know, I need to wipe my hands or something while I'm doing my makeup. The first step is cleansing. Good, we're done. And now I'm gonna do primer. So the primer I have is the Body Shop All-in-One 5 Action Perfector Primer. So it is called Insta Blur. So I'm really hoping that this really shrinks my pores, makes it smoother because I have really big pores. Oh, this one's interesting. It contains vitamin E, CFT Marula Oil, and the ingredients are all natural, you know, good for your skin, which is really great. Alright, so I will open this up. Okay, this is nice that there's a thing here because that means no one else has used this. So I'll just open it up and put just a bit on my hand just to see. Ooh, wow, look at that. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks like icicles. Like if icicles became jelly, this is it. Wow, it feels like jelly. Ooh, okay. I wonder <laughs> what's gonna happen to my face. Okay, so I'll just rub it here on this side wow it feels weird it, it feels really jelly like but it it dr becomes powdery as soon as it touches your skin this side of my face feels really matte is it blurred does it look smoother <gasps> it kind of does I, I don't know if you guys can see the difference but I'm looking at my mirror right here and this one feels really matte versus this one that feels oily <laughs> and it looks really shiny this side hmm pretty good and I do feel like it blurred my pores I mean compared to this side these pores look a bit smaller wow this smells good I cannot describe the smell but it does smell really good and so I'm gonna <laughs> even this out and put the blurring thing right here my skin is cleansed and primed so now I'm gonna be doing my concealer today I'm not gonna be doing foundation because I don't normally do foundation anyway so I'm gonna do my concealer and then I'm gonna be trying out the basic care sponge which I have to wet so give me a second. this is now a jumbo sponge and it's also really really soft I like how soft it is and so I'm gonna be using my favorite concealer of the moment this is the L'Oreal Infallible full wear concealer in the shade natural rose so I'm just gonna be putting this right here yeah, so let's dot under the eyes like a little cross here 
just designing my face. I really love this part of doing makeup because I feel like I'm doing war paint or something because every single day you live your life it is a battle now I'm just going to blend everything out it seems like it takes more effort for me to blend it out using this and this is not a new concealer for me I have used this concealer every single day but I don't understand why it is not maybe I should use this side why it is not blending out as smoothly as I remember it can. I don't know why this sponge is not... It sucks because it was really soft. I had high hopes for it but not really my favorite. I mean, I keep tugging on my skin just to blend everything out which I don't like so I'm just gonna take a, a brush and just go with that. This brush is a bit better but I'm also kind of having a hard time blending this out now I feel like it's the primer I don't know because that's the only different thing I did with my skin and for some reason things are not performing as they used to so I don't know maybe I will give this another shot I actually like doing this after using a brush since certain brushes end up leaving streaks on your face it's nice to go over it with a sponge okay let's try this again I'm gonna add more concealer right here and see if my sponge can blend it out now because there's already a layer of concealer so maybe this one would blend out better okay so I really feel like the hassle I went through a while ago was just because of the primer maybe I just don't understand what it does to my skin yet but definitely this one so much better when I use the sponge I don't know what happened maybe the primer made the concealer dry faster I really cannot figure this out but definitely it's the combo of the primer with the concealer that made that thing happen but now that's pretty good. For powder, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16-hour powder. <laughs> so I'm I'm just going to use a, a brush <laughs> to be sure that nothing bad happens to me. <laughs> so I like doing it here on my under eyes first and then my T-zone. I put powder all over but now I'm just going to use the sponge to really meld everything together push that powder in, you know, just push it into the skin just so it looks better, it has a better finish. I see a contour shade right here, so I'm gonna be using this to contour. This is the Max Factor Masterpiece Nude Palette in number 2 Golden Nudes, so I'm just gonna use this. I don't really like these brushes, so I'm not gonna use that. So I'm going to be taking my fluffy brush and I will try to get just this row right here. Let's see if that's possible. Oh, very possible. I've never tried this before, actually. Let's contour here. Mm, not bad. It's actually working. I just need more. I love the contour shade. Very natural looking. Let's contour down here as well. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> It's repeating this entire process on this side of my face. I like using my <laughs> eyeshadow palettes and making them multi-purpose palettes. So this is a good example of it. My face is chiseled out enough, so I'm very happy with this. Now I'm going to contour my nose. <gasps> we can use my color switch! Alright, so this is the color switch by Beauty Sensations. I'm so excited that I actually found this because it took me a while to find something like this. So this is how the color switch looks like. So I'm just gonna take my brush that I just used a while ago and then I'm just gonna swirl it in here. Whoa! Wow, you can really see the... I don't know if you guys can see it, but the brown from the brush is actually on the color switch right now. Like, the more I turn it, the, the browner it gets. Not bad! Alright. So now let's try it out. I'm gonna use the same shade I used to contour to contour my nose and I'll also put it on my crease. So I guess I'm gonna start with my eye look. 
but later on I want to do my nose first there we go mm -hmm. oh this is a great shade for contour or like just a great shade in general before I start my eye look I'm just gonna be doing my brows off camera because this might take me a while. Done with my brows, now I'm going to be doing my eyes. So I'm going to be using this beautiful palette. So I'm going to be taking the same shade I used for contour right here on my crease. So it's the shade, the third from the left. <laughs> so I'm just going to put it here right on my crease. You know, looking at this palette, I realize there are only three matte shades. So that would be this beige one, this brown one that I keep using, and this black one, which I'm not even sure if I will be dipping into later on. There's also a lot of kickback, even here. It's one of those um, really blendable <laughs> eyeshadows, not blendable, buildable. Well, it does blend, up, blend out really well, but it's not the one that has super boom pigment or maybe that's because I've just been using this one color. So I'm going to be taking my color switch because I'm going to be switching colors. So I'll just swirl this around here. What else can I add to my crease? It actually really does work. Um, so I will take this color right here. There's way less kickback for this metallic eyeshadow. So this one I'll put on my crease. Ooh, there we go. There's the pigment I have been looking for. But this is actually a really pretty shade. This one definitely defined my crease so much. Wow. It's also very glittery. I'm gonna dip into this champagne -y color here. I really have to use my color switch for this because... My brush is mostly brown. This is also exercise. <laughs> my arm, my right arm is actually getting a good workout from this. So that's a plus. Now I'm going to dip into this one. Alright. Just put it here in the center. Ooh, that looks really good. Really brighten up the eye. I like the shade. It's a really nice champagne color. Beautiful. You know what? I'm gonna try it with my finger. Ooh, better. So much better. I like this. That is way more pigmented than when I use a brush. Wow, this is really beautiful. Wow, look at that kickback. I don't know if you guys can see that, but wow. There's just eyeshadow flying everywhere, and there is also fallout under my eyes. Now it looks very glittery right here under my eyes. What do I do? What do I do? I'm just gonna take a blending brush and blend out all of the edges. I'm gonna be dipping into this brown one again and just going a bit on my crease just to blend everything together but I'm not going in super harshly because I don't want to have to blend it out all over again. So I, I think that's good. I can stop. I have to stop there, so I'm just gonna do my bottom lash line. So I will do that same color right here. Just line it right there. Now it's actually my favorite part of doing my eyes because I really, really love the effect when I do this. Wow, this definitely made the look so much better. And this is my final eye look. Now I'm gonna be doing mascara. So this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara. So I'm just gonna open it up like this. Ooh, look at that applicator. It's not super fat, it's not super thin, but I really think it can separate my lashes really well. So let's just let's try it out right here. I am not the best at putting mascara this I kind of messed it up so I have to clean it um, I think I found a purpose for this so I'm just going to get rid of the mistakes that I've made so far I think I did it I think I got most of it out so now I'm gonna do this whole process again I'm gonna put some mascara and hopefully not make any more mistakes wow this actually looks really good I mean if you compare my left side to my right side 
this looks pretty good and it's not clumping up or anything which I think is really really great I really don't like it when mascaras clump up wow okay I don't know if the camera got it but I actually poked my eye while I was putting on mascara it was really awful I started to tear up and I, you know I just I cleaned up as much as I could but the mascara did not run so I was so amazed at that and I will do my other eye and hopefully no accidents happen I guess I really don't do a lot of mascara so yes this is really a test for me but so far I'm really loving the look of my lashes they're nice long and thin and it didn't run when I was crying which I think it's really great so maybe this really is <laughs> a waterproof mascara but you know let's see maybe I'll do a wear test or something I'm really loving how my lashes look right now it looks really long and thin but thick at the same time does that make sense like it's thin in the sense that it doesn't clump up together but it looks nice and thin I I really like it now for lipstick I'm gonna be using the extreme matte lipstick from the brand floor mar now I actually got this one on sale so it's originally 399 but I got it for only 150 pesos Ooh, look at that that looks really cool this doesn't look like the typical shape of a lipstick it looks really cool like a diamond the shape is cool but now I'm not sure how to apply this wow this shape is a challenge <laughs> um i am not sure what is happening i have a dark pink type of moment going on here i'm not quite sure if i like it or not also this shape is really cool but i was so confused as to how i would apply this lipstick exactly so i guess i will enjoy it more when the slide is out and it just becomes like a normal straight thing but anyway <laughs> other than that I actually really like how this feels it's a matte lipstick but it's not drying it doesn't emphasize the crevices of my lips the texture of my lips which I think is something I always look for in a matte lipstick it feels really good really light even though I put on so many layers it didn't get cakey or chunky or anything which I think is really pretty the color though I'm not quite sure if it's for me it's a bit darker than I would usually go for but you know I'm willing to try it and I feel like it goes with this eye look <laughs> so that's that's what we're going with I also swatched it right here if you guys want to see it yes that is a swatch so it's like a dark pink vampy pink type of vibe also I don't have blush so I'm just gonna use this as blush there we go right there and then <laughs> I'm just going to where's my sponge I'll use a sponge spread it out so let's see how well this turns out for me <laughs> and I really hope this blends out maybe I should use this part oh yes there we go it's actually a really great idea to match your blush with your lipstick so it just looks like a really complete and polished look that really looks like they they all go together that is a nice blush I'm actually really liking the shade more as a blush it really colored my cheeks we are down to our very last product and this is the Maybelline master chrome by face studio metallic highlighter and this is in the shade molten rose gold that's shade 50 you know this one I'm so very excited for because so many people have raved about this particular highlighter and I'm so excited that I have it look at that so beautiful all right so I'm gonna take my real techniques brush just pat that on there and highlight <gasps> I love it I love it it's so beautiful the color is perfect there was actually two shades available there's the gold one and then the rose gold one so of course I got the rose gold one I am very aware that rose gold is my shade and this looks so good wow I love this and I'm gonna <laughs> I don't know why I'm adding more it's already really intense but that's that's just what I'm gonna go with so I'm gonna add to my brows wow that looks so good and more to my brows a little on my nose mm, I keep this bow I love this this highlight so good I love the shade so beautiful 
and it looks really dewy. It doesn't look like, you know, those chunky types of highlighters. It looks really smooth, dewy, and natural. So I really like it. I'm definitely going to be using this so much. This is my finished look. I'm actually really loving how everything turned out. There are some products that are I'm just okay with and there are products that I actually really really love. So we're going to do a rundown on every single thing that I tried today. This is an okay product for me. This is the Body Shop Insta Blur Primer. Now I really did feel good. I mean it felt good on my skin. It felt mattified but I just don't know if it is the best type of primer to put under makeup. I don't know. Maybe that's not how you're supposed to use it or maybe I'm just supposed to play around with it more but so far I'm just okay with this product. I'm pretty sure there are better primers out there but this one is okay. It's just not the best. Now the next one is this sponge. This is the Basic Care sponge. I really like the sponge at first. I wasn't sure if I liked it or not but the more I used it the more I realized it's really soft. It really blends out so much and it doesn't absorb that much product which I think is really great because you get to save on products. So this one I definitely recommend it. This Max Factor eyeshadow palette in Golden Nudes I think is also an okay palette. I mean this is the look I created. It's not as pigmented as I like my eyeshadow to be. This is a very very buildable type of formula and I actually really do like the color selection but for me there's just too many metallics in here uh, to be you know a complete type of palette. I mean the colors are beautiful and everything but I don't think this is a palette I will be reaching for a lot. The metallics are beautiful though. I give them that but there's just not enough color payoff for me. There's just a lot of powder that just does not end up on your eye, it ends up everywhere else and even here looking now, even my legs have powder so I don't know, I mean, oh kickback, kickback's the term. The kickback's a lot but usually when there's a lot of kickback there's also pigment but this one, there's not much pigment so I guess this is really for the type of girl who doesn't like a lot of pigment, likes you know, layering on a lot of eyeshadow. I mean this is for a certain type of person, just not me. So sad though because I do like the colors and I do wish there was a mirror right here because that would make it a more practical type of thing. You could bring it every day. But yeah, this one I'm also okay with. This one also came with the eyeshadow. I think this is very useful if you don't have a Q-tip or anything. This would really save me when you know I pulled my eye and I had to get the water out and everything. This was really great, especially when you make a mistake. It just erases it right out. This color switch is so amazing. If you look at it now, there's a lot of brown because well I use a lot of brown but it used to be black now it's brown. That is how much powder it actually got from my brush. I think this is really effective. I love it. I love that I don't have to you know keep using different brushes or keep cleaning my brush. I just put it in the color switch and I can use it again. So this one I definitely recommend this. It's just 89 pesos so I think that's a really great deal considering you just have to use one brush for your eyeshadow. Uh, get rid of the excess color and then dip into another color. So that's very, very convenient. This lipstick has grown on me. It's not really my shade. It's too, a bit too vampy, too dark for me. Pinky. I actually thought when I bought this, I thought it was a nude color. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe it's the lighting or something, but I thought it was a nude color, but it is not. I really do like the formula though. This is the Floor Mar Extreme Matte Lipstick. The formula is great. It feels really light on my lips. It doesn't emphasize the texture on my lips and it just looks really good. I really like this mascara. It made my eyes look so good. My lashes are so big and fluffy and long and you know separated. It's not clumped up together and so far it hasn't creased right here under my eye which is exactly what I was looking for. Now this one felt a little bit different. It I'm used to mascaras that are wet when you apply it and this one is not exactly wet and it's not exactly dry so I'm not quite sure maybe that's the reason why it performs that well but I like this I definitely will be using this every single day I think it gave me such a great effect on my eyes opened it up more made it look more awake and that's all because of mascara <laughs> now another thing I got from Maybelline is the master chrome highlighter this is my favorite product in this entire video it is so beautiful. This is such a beautiful highlight. I love the glow. I love the naturalness to it, the dewiness, and the shade. It is so beautiful. It's not the chunky glitter type of highlighter. It's very high end. Feels a very soft, very silky look at that. It's just really, really 
beautiful I mean look at that glow even on my arm it is so beautiful this one I will definitely be using every single day it's Wow, I mean, I really get why so many people recommend this highlighter. This is a really fun video to do and I am so happy that you guys are here experiencing all of this new makeup with me. This is very, very exciting for me. Actually, this is something I love doing and I'm happy that you guys are here too. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of my new look. Do you like this lipstick? Do you like this highlight? Well, I really like the highlighter, but the lipstick, I'm not quite sure. Like, What do you guys think? Does it look good? Does it match? my look I don't know but just let me know in the comments down below what you think and also if you have any product recommendations just leave it in the comment section down below so that is the end of this video thank you guys so so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel I will see you guys on my next one Mwah!